Jesus' name, praise God, Lord. Why don't we just begin to get started into prayer right now? I believe God has some awesome things, and we're going to have a baptism tonight, so let's thank the Lord for that, amen. But before that's all done, why don't we just begin to get into a, a spirit of prayer. The Lord has been doing some awesome things in Saddleback Campus. He has filled two people with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Actually, no, three. Two of them have been baptized, and one of them was filled on campus. And so that just goes to show the dominion that God has given us. And so I believe that God is wanting to release even greater things, not just in that campus, but in every territory that we step foot in, in Jesus' name. Why don't we just begin to get into the presence of God? If you want to stand, if you want to kneel, if you want to walk around, why don't we just get into the presence of God together, however you know how. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you have the gift of the Holy Ghost, would you just begin to speak in tongues? For when you speak in tongues, the Spirit of God is praying things through you that you may not understand, but it is the right prayer. It is the perfect prayer. Why don't we just begin to do that together as the body of Christ? Shataye la mandorobo saya. I kala mandoro mo saya rama saya. I lo 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 bo rama daria kata rama saya. Come on, that's it. Something's being stirred in this place right now. I kara rabo shataya. I oro lo 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 mo kora manda rama si andaye. Come on, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost is ready to go. But are we ready in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Rabba Shataere Bosaya. Come on, I believe the Holy Ghost wants us to go from zero to 60 real quick because the Spirit of God doesn't need a warm up. Come on, the Spirit of the Lord is ready to do it. He is ready to do it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I karara robo shatarabha, I anamando robo sayarabata. We worship you in the name of Jesus. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Father, your word says to enter your gates with thanks and your courts with praise. We do that right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, why don't we just begin to worship Him right now? Ki andaraba sayerebe. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Why don't we just let that spirit of thanksgiving begin to settle right now? Hallelujah. Come on. Some great things are going to be done in prayer tonight. But can we just thank Him in advance for them? Come on. God's going to do some powerful stuff tonight. But before He does it in our own timeline, can we just begin to thank Him before it happens? Can we just begin to thank Him before it's already done? Hallelujah. Jesus come on just begin to thank him every single thing that you know that God is going to do that he has promised why don't you just begin to thank him for it come on the promises that God has given you it's already done in God's eyes it's already done in God's perspective it has already happened in the eyes and the perspective of God so can we just look through his perspective right now Come on, your prayers are already answered in God's perspective because He's outside of time and space. He operates in a place that He's not bound by time. He's not bound by space. So in the eyes of God, every prayer you have prayed in the will of God, it is already answered. So can we look through the eyes of God? Can we look through His perspective right now and just begin to thank Him? 
Come on, that's it. Come on, let's just let us, let's just begin to magnify the Lord right now. Come on, let's just begin to magnify the Lord. We're not going to magnify what we're going through. We're not going to magnify our problem. We're going to magnify the Lord. Come on, I've come to magnify him. We've come to magnify him. Come on, we're not going to magnify the problem. We're not going to magnify the trial. Come on, I'm not going to magnify what's going on that I don't like. I'm not going to magnify my tribulation. I'm going to magnify the one that's going to take me through it. Come on, the Holy Ghost has a word from somebody. You don't have to magnify your problem, but you can magnify the problem solver in the name of Jesus. And when you stop magnifying the problem and start magnifying Him, your problem seems so insignificant and small because now your perspective is in Him. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, I will fix my eyes towards you. I will fix my eyes towards your will. And in the name of Jesus Christ, why don't we just begin to speak that right now. Lord, I choose to magnify you and not the problem. I just begin to speak that to him right now. God, I choose to magnify you. And I'm not going to magnify what I'm going through. But I'm going to magnify you. Oh God, I'm not going to magnify what I don't see, but I'm going to magnify you, Lord. I'm not going to magnify what isn't already happening, but I'm going to magnify you, Jesus. Come on, I'm not going to magnify what I've lost. I'm going to magnify what I have gained in the Lord. Come on, if you just begin to magnify him, he'll begin to take you deeper. He'll begin to take you to greater places to believe for more things you didn't believe for on your own. Come on, let's let's just begin to magnify him. Come on, when we begin to magnify Him. Come on, when we begin to magnify Him, things will begin to break. And things will begin to happen. Come on, when you're magnifying God, it doesn't matter the problem you are facing. Because you're not even paying much attention to it in the first place. It doesn't matter what opposition you're going against because you're not magnifying it. Father, we've come to magnify you. We've come to magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. Come on, just let's just begin to press right now. Come on, let's just begin to tap in. There's an anointing in this place. Come on, let's let's magnify in the spirit right now. Come on, let's lose some things in the spirit. Come on, let, let the miraculous be loose right now. Come on, we're not magnifying barrenness. We're magnifying fruitfulness. Come on, 
We release, oh Lord. We release it, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we loose things to begin to break in this city. Lord, we release things to begin to break, oh Lord. Spiritual strongholds and spiritual hindrances to be removed, oh God. So that your will would be done. We speak it, oh Father. We speak it in the name of Jesus. Come on, for the next few moments, can we just begin to pray a little bit deeper right now? For these next few moments, come on, let's just push past the weariness. Come on, not with your own strength, but let God's strength begin to flow right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I wonder if we could just lift up our eyes right now and lift up our hands come on just don't lift up just your hands but just begin to lift up your eyes as well say would you just begin to look to him right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ come on the Bible declares lift up your eyes come on it says lift up your eyes come on not just your hands but lift up your eyes God wants you to see something in the spirit come on it doesn't just say lift up your hands but lift up your eyes because he's about to show you something. He's about to do something that he wants you to see. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, would you just begin to lift up your eyes in the spirit. Lift up your eyes to what God is doing. Lift up your spiritual eyes and see what the Lord is creating. Come on, I, I, I can see it right now. I'm lifting my eyes in the spirit and I'm seeing something souls being saved in the name of Jesus come on as you're lifting up your eyes in the spirit what is it that God is showing you and not just what is God showing you but what is he doing right now what is he demonstrating that he wants you to see God, we lift up our eyes right now to what you are doing in this place. Oh, come on, that's it. Somebody's tapping into something powerful right now. Come on, can we just begin to flow in that? Oh, Ramanda yele me ki andaye, i kolamondo romo si andaye. Come on, nothing else is important, more important than what God is doing right now. Nothing else is more important than what God is doing in this place. Romo si andaye re bokoya, i kororo mo rabataye re bosaya. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Come on, we lifted up our hands and we lifted up our eyes. But can we just lift up our voice right now? Can we lift up a victory voice right now? Come on, we lifted up our hands and we lifted up our eyes. We lifted up all of those. But can we just begin to lift up our voice in victory in the name of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah, God. Woo! 
Come on. Your boldness is based on your freedom to speak. Your boldness is determined based on your freedom to speak. Come on. If you've got boldness, you won't be afraid to speak. Come on. A shout is an external manifestation of victory. Come on. It's an external sign that you do have victory. Say, come on, if you won the lottery, you would shout, you would dance, you would begin to jump and leap. Come on, we have a greater prize. We have a greater prize. It's the prize of the Holy Ghost. It's the prize of eternal life. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, a shout is an external sign of the victory you already possess. Come on. A shout doesn't just signify emotion. A shout signifies victory. Come on. We lifted up our hands. Can we just lift up our voice right now in this moment? Come on. If you have victory, this isn't hard for you. If you have victory, it's not hard for you to shout. Oh, robo saya la la bataye. Ilo robo saye. Come on. If you're in love with Jesus, you're not ashamed to speak that. You're not ashamed to shout. Yo robo da la la manda yo robo ko. Oh, da mandi ya la 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 bo saye le 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 be si. Come on, if you have victory in your spirit, you're not afraid to speak those things as though they were into existence. Come on. Come on, it's time to pray right now. It's not time to talk. Come on, God's doing something right now. God's doing something. Come on, we need to pray right now. Come on, somebody just begin to declare victory right now. God, I declare victory over Saddleback Campus. God, I shout, oh Lord, with victory, oh Lord, for the territory you have claimed. I shout for victory, oh God. Come on, somebody just begin to thank God for the territory he's already given. Come on, somebody just begin to thank God for the fruit he's already given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yalabo saya la la bakaya. Yorono no mo kordianda la 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 bo. My God, ya kanda ramanda. Come on in the name of Jesus. Something is happening right now. Something in the Holy Ghost is happening. Why don't you just begin to declare victory? Declare victory right now over your territory. Declare victory over your city. Declare victory over your friends and family. Declare victory over your neighborhood. Declare victory over your family. Come on, we walk in victory. We walk in the spirit of victory. We walk in the spirit of victory in the name of Jesus.
Oh, I must say, I wonder if we could just clap our hands to the Lord right now and just begin to sincerely thank Him. Not just with our body, but with our heart. Would you just begin to sincerely worship Him right now? Come on, the Bible says with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Come on, if God answered your prayer today, how would your worship look like? Oh, Ramanda, yeah, Rebe, see. Ito Romondo, yeah. Come on, I don't know about you, but a dance is not enough for me to express my gratitude. A leap and a jump is not enough. But Lord, words have to come out of my mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Iarabosa. Iarabo, Kordama, yele, Bosaya. Oh, the Andaye Lebo Cordo Mose. Woo, Shatalabakaya Labakaya. Come on, somebody just begin to speak that beautiful name right now. Begin to loose that name in the name of Jesus. Come on. One of the components of kingdom praying, one of the components of praying the, the disciples' prayer, it is to loose the name of Jesus. It is that the name of Jesus would be hallowed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release the name of Jesus. We loose your name to be sanctified in this territory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Just let the Holy Ghost flow right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the book of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, when God created the animals and he created everything in the earth, and when he created Adam, a living soul. I don't know why, but I, I just feel this in the Holy Ghost and and Pastor Sister Lachika, they can come up whenever they want, but I just feel to share this. It's interesting because in the book of Genesis, when God created Adam, he it says in Genesis two nineteen, you don't have to put the the scripture up unless it helps. I whatever you want to do. But it says and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam. And watch this scripture. I, I just, this just boggles my mind. And it was for this purpose that the Lord brought every animal, every fowl of the air unto Adam. It was to see what he would call them. And I was thinking to myself, Lord, you trusted Adam with the responsibility of speaking to the point where whatever he called the animals, that was their name. And it couldn't be changed. It couldn't be reversed. Whatever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And I was thinking of this scripture, and I was Asking the Lord. Now, Lord, I know the Old Testament is our schoolmaster. So how does this apply today? How does this apply to me? And he said something very interesting, and I'm kind of going out on a limb right now and because this, this was freshly given not too long ago. But the Lord spoke something very interesting to me, Sister Lachika, and it was, if you are not speaking, 
are you really exercising your dominion? And when he said that, I go, wow. Because when the king says something, specifically when he speaks, there are things that the king can do. There are things that the king can think, but those all are propelled and launched by the spoken word. And it's so powerful because God called all of these animals he brought, all of them to Adam, to see what he would call them. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. And it was like the Lord, man, the Lord just gave me this. This is fresh. I I just can't get away from this. It's almost like he's saying God has brought all of these promises to us and all of these souls and he's brought us and he's and he's showing us this city and he's showing us the harvest field and i can just feel the holy ghost saying what are we going to call this city what are we going to speak over this city Are we going to say it can't be done? This harvest field is dry. The ground is not tilled. The ground is not plowed. It takes a lot of work. We're in a rough area. Or are we going to speak life? Because God called. He called Adam. And when he brought the beasts of the field and every fowl of the air, he wanted to see what Adam would call them. Because what you speak is important and what you speak has power. And so I can just feel this very strongly in the Holy Ghost. There's just just so much faith in this place. God's asking all of us a question right now. And maybe he's bringing people to your mind. He's bringing souls to your mind. And he's asking you, what are you going to call them? Are you going to call them that they're going to be baptized in Jesus' name? Or are you speaking doubt? Are you speaking fear or are you going to speak life? I feel the Holy Ghost right now. If you feel that right now, why don't we just begin to stand to our feet? And God is going to do something very extraordinary in this place. Because God is bringing certain things in our surroundings. Different things that we see every day. And he's asking us, what are you going to call them? Come on, the city that, the the school that you walk into every single week. What are you going to call that school? What are you going to speak over that school? Because God's saying, what are you going to speak over that living creature? My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, come on. I wonder if we could just speak life in the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, we speak too much negativity sometimes. Can we just begin to speak life? Come on, I speak life into Saddleback Campus. I call it in the name of Jesus that it is a ripe harvest field. Come on, the ground that you've been plowing, the souls that you encounter day to day. Come on, what are you going to call it? What are you going to say that it is? Are you going to say that God can do it? Or are you going to say that God can't? Come on. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. I release life in the name of Jesus. I release an open door. I speak, O oh Lord, that this city will see harvest. I speak, O oh Lord, that the ground shall no longer remain dry. I speak it in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. God doesn't just want to see what you do, but He wants to see what you speak. Come on, would you just begin to speak in the Holy Ghost? I speak that these souls, that the fowls of the air would not snatch the seed off of them. That the seed would not be snatched from the fowl of the enemy, O oh God. But the seed would be deeply planted in their hearts. That it would be deeply rooted. That it would be deeply sowed. Come on, the Holy Ghost is moving right now. Come on, are you going to move with him or are you not? I speak, O Lord, that this city will experience the miraculous. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Aye, Aramanda Rabakaya Ramasa. Aye, Aramanda Ramokoye. Itoromo Sandalalamando Roboko. Come on in the name of Jesus. Come on in the name of Jesus. We speak it right now. We speak life in the name of Jesus. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, those people you've been witnessing to. What are you going to speak over them? Come on, somebody just begin to let the anointing begin to take over and cause you to speak prophetical promises over this church. Come on, I just heard somebody speak a prophecy that says we're going to experience great fruit before the end of the year. Come on, I wonder if you would let the anointing of God speak a prophetic word over this city, for this church, for this county. Come on, we speak in tongues, but we also speak in understanding. Come on, would you begin to release something in the Holy Ghost? I speak life in that campus Lord I speak that they will not be bound by false doctrine that they will not be bound by false ideology in the name of Jesus Christ I speak them to be freed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on why don't we begin to seal that in faith right now why don't we begin to declare it in faith speaking things right now in the Holy Ghost oh yeah in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I feel to boost somebody's faith right now. In Jesus' name. Keep on praying, but just keep a listening ear. I feel led that God wants to boost somebody's faith right now. In Jesus' name. Just stay where you are. Don't return to your seats. Just keep on staying in that flow of prayer. Before we had Saddleback College Outreaches, the Lord led, I, get, I believe, us as a church and also me individually and corporately with some other people just to begin to pray spiritual warfare over that campus. And I remember that prayer meeting specifically. We begin to go intense warfare, very intense and very deep. And it was a day before, hear me now in the Holy Ghost, Please, let's not get distracted. It was literally one day before the outreaches. It was one day before we went to Saddleback. And I just felt led to just go into a spirit of warfare. And then all of a sudden, we're praying. It's not even 30 minutes. And there's such an intensity. And all of a sudden, it just breaks. And I kid you not, there were things in the spirit that were broken that day. There were things in the spirit that were broken, and it didn't take two weeks for it to break. It only took one prayer meeting. And in that one prayer meeting, things broke. And I feel sometimes we begin to pray, and subconsciously, we are trying to fit God in our timeline. And what, what, meant, what is meant by that is we pray for a miracle, and we pray for harvest, but we also are thinking to ourselves, it's going to take X amount of weeks for this to happen. It's going to take X amount of years for this to happen. But I believe the Lord wants to do a quick work. He's going to do a quick work. And we've already been praying with intensity. But can we just pray one more time? But this time, let's pray with a faith that says this is not going to happen in a long while. This is going to happen now. This is going to happen right now. I wonder if we could just begin to let our faith arise right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, it doesn't have to take a while because that's what we're used to. Come on, it doesn't have to take a while because that's been our usual experience. We speak it right now. God's wondering what we're going to call it. 
God's wondering what we're going to call the campus and call this city. We speak it right now that we're going to experience harvest. And it's not going to have to take a while because God is able. Come on, does somebody believe that he's able? I wonder if we can let a spirit of intercession right now begin to flood this place for this city in the name of Jesus. Come on, the city is ours in the name of Jesus. The city belongs to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the intercessor. That's the intercessor. Come on. Now's not the time to meditate or speak softly. Now is the time to speak in boldness. Come on, would you lift up your voice? Something is breaking right now. Something is breaking right now. The saith the Lord your God. It will not take a while for me to do a new thing. It will not take a while for me to do a new thing. I am not bound by time. It in the name of Jesus Christ, I am not bound by space. The more you believe the rhema of God, the faster you're going to see it happen. The more you believe the word from God, the quicker you will see the fruit begin to manifest. Come on, we're moving in the Holy Ghost right now. Let's take it a step deeper. Let's take it a step further. We come against the spiritual opposition in this county. God, if you can move in Saddleback College, you can move in this county. You can move in this city. You can move in this city. Come on, I speak in the Holy Ghost. There's going to be people that are going to leave the Saddleback Church and the mega churches around the area, and they're going to start gravitating towards us, the people of God. Come on, I speak it prophetically in the Holy Ghost. We're going to see that happen. Come on, we're not believing for reasonable results. We're believing for miraculous results. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, ki è la mandolo lo lordo bosaya. Io lo mondo romo corianda yele mahataye. Io lo lo bordo bosa. Come on in the name of Jesus. Come on in the name of Jesus. God is doing something in this hour. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, that's it. Hallelujah. Yataye. Let it be released, Father. Let it be released, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Woo! Kayara manda yere besi. Ianda yara manda yere bokoye. Come on, that's it right now. Halabo sataya. Halabo sataya. Come on, that's it. God's spirit is not lifting off of some of you because he's not yet done releasing some things. Go ahead and pray in Jesus' name. 
Go ahead and begin to speak. Go ahead and speak what God has asked you to declare in Jesus' name. of the Lord in the name of the Lord it's happening right now oh your petitions are being answered oh, it is happening right at this very moment in Jesus name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it is happening right now in Jesus name for God has heard and God has decreed and it is the right time in the name of Jesus. Now is the time. Come on, would you begin to believe that right now? That now is the time. Today is the day. Waiting is over. Waiting has passed. It is now that we walk with Him and Him with us. Oh, confirming His word in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yara na mo kotori andele ketele a. Somebody begin to continue to claim Saddle back in Jesus name Would you begin to claim that area In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Would you begin to claim that campus In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Lord in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray for Leanne, O oh Lord, that goes to that college, so God, that you would use her, Lord. I release boldness upon her right now to begin to claim that area through her, O oh Lord. God, a ministry to be birthed in Jesus' name. And many sons and daughters given hope, O oh Lord. Given even your spirit. Come on, would you pray that somebody claim it? In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody speak it right now in faith. God has already demonstrated his will. God has already confirmed his word. Lord, we speak now, O oh Lord, as we explore that open door and saddle back. Somebody begin to explore with your spirit in prayer and begin to speak as God gives you words in Jesus' name. For the spirit is praying through you. Yea, and I'm a so kata ye. Yea, and the robo sata ye kanda ye. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Go ahead, pray according to the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, pray according to the presence and the Spirit of God that's leading you. Draw even as you are, God, the hungry. Draw to us, God, even as you are, Lord, the hurting. And those that have needs, oh God, in body, in mind, in spirit, as you have healed them. God, as you have miraculously touched them. Oh, you have confirmed your word with signs following out in the streets, oh God. Out in public, oh Lord. God, as it begins to continue more and more of that demonstration in Jesus' name. Yara la bokoto satalama. Can you picture it? Many, many students coming to the Lord. Many, many students all receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Many of them healed. 
Many of them given hope, meaning beyond just getting an education. In the name of Jesus, I lose angels in that place. Somebody pray that with me right now. Uh, ministering spirits, O oh Lord, given to us the heirs. Of salvation, oh God. Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ikata la mahanda ranamo kotorianda ranasite. Let it go through the classrooms, oh Lord, the hallways, oh God. The gatherings, oh Lord, the break rooms, oh God, the coffee shops, oh Lord. In the midst of learning, let there be impartation and revelation from your spirit. Even, Lord, a deeper heart. Hunger for you, God, a thirsting of the soul. The quickening of the mind, oh God, to learn of you, O oh Lord, knowledge from above. Knowledge, O oh Lord, that does not and is not limited to this dimension, O oh King, but revelation and impartation that comes oh, through your spirit, through your body in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Would you begin to pray for your family right now? Would you begin to pray for your families in Jesus' name? It's time to claim them because God is moving. Would you claim your families, your loved ones in Jesus' name? Would you mention their name in the presence of the Lord? That's right, go ahead, begin to let the Spirit of God give you thoughts. The imaginations of your heart. Oh, according to what you ask or think. According to the power that works through you and in you. The Holy Ghost that you have. Begin to envision that answer. Begin to envision that victory. Begin to envision that moment, that rejoicing. Oh, as your friends, as your families are getting saved in the name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, for my sister, Lord, coming back. I thank you, Lord, for my other sisters receiving the, the word that's been implanted to them the many times, oh God, that you have ordained, oh Lord, to come and hear. Lord, a witness of your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody begin to pray for your friends. Oh, along with your families in Jesus' name. As God give you words to speak to them, speak it with boldness. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid to teach them. Take advantage of every opportunity that God presents to you. To speak and to implant and plant the word. As you water and plant it, God will give an increase. For the increase is here. And the increase is now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Would you thank God right now in Jesus' name for saving your family? Do you have that faith right now? Would you thank him? In Jesus' name, come on, would you thank him for aunts and uncles and cousins? Oh, and friends being saved in Jesus' name. Receiving this gospel. Believing this gospel. Obeying this gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Yo rakata shanda la bahai. I andara la la boko shata la bahai. I know sometimes prayers that seem to have been being prayed for a long time has a tendency to play and affect our faith. But God is speaking to you right now that it is time and the doors have been opened as you walk through it and pray and claim and begin to be sensitive to the opportunities that God will be giving you and will continue to give to you to plant the seed of the Word of God in your loved one's hearts. I feel a witness of the Holy Ghost. If you feel that witness, the same witness, would you begin to open up your faith and begin to speak, begin to prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the answers to your prayers for your friends, the answers to your prayers for your family in the name, in the precious name, in the powerful name through the blood of Jesus that reaches and covers in the name of the Lord Jesus in Jesus holy name in Jesus holy name in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody thank him ahead of time right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yoko sata la mahai. Yoko tori anda la bahai. I feel like God's telling us you have warred and you have battled. You have persevered. You have pressed through. You've been used at the tip of the, the spear. And you pierced through the darkness. Now it's time to enjoy the victory and to walk in victory, to walk in anticipation. Now is the time to believe more than ever before. For I, the Lord your God, will walk among you and confirm my word. You have persevered. You have fallen, but I have picked you up. You were bruised, but I have healed you. I will show even my own power through you. In Jesus' name. Somebody receive that right now. Somebody receive that right now. Come on, somebody receive that right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, receiving it is not dependent on the volume of your voice, but it's the faith that you have on the inside that have latched on to that word, that word from God. Somebody shout, I believe it. Come on, somebody shout, I believe it. And I will walk in it and I will see it in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. I think it's time to rejoice right now. Would you just thank God? Would you thank God right now? Would you worship Him? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Yokoriata la Mahayana Sete. Lord, in Jesus' name, praise God, praise God. Lo kandara namo soto, lo rianda la bokoto soto, lo morondo lo bosoto. Sister Edie. I feel like God has started a healing in you during the last connect group at your house. And God just wants to let you know that he is and has healed you in Jesus' name. Would you lift up your hands, Sister Edie, and would you just begin to thank the Lord? 
and begin to believe that word even more so today than you've ever been. The miracle right now is happening in Jesus' name. Somebody pray with her right now. In the name of Jesus, somebody lay hands on her right now with faith and with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the Lord is the one that heals and the Lord is the one who promised and He is faithful and He is able. Mari kendere tele mana sotori andele kaso i kane le le bokoto randa la hai in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord Toranda somebody rejoice right now it doesn't take God long he is instantaneous he is eternal he is already there he is Right now, I am in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. I feel like the Lord wants us to just rejoice in the victories that He has done. Amen. We have seen last Sunday, we have Jasmine that was baptized in Jesus' name. Can you rejoice with her in Jesus' holy name? <laughs> Praise God. And then also Marshall was baptized in Jesus' name. Both of them baptized, both of them filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And last Tuesday over at Saddleback, this young lady, her name's Mo came to the canopy there, the tent, needing, wanting, asking for prayer for anxiety. And her face was that of being distressed. And we prayed, we believed, and God filled her with the Holy Ghost right there in the campus of Saddleback, speaking in tongues. Amen. Her countenance began to change. She's filled with His power. Praise God. Would you just rejoice right now for these three? Amen. That God has confirmed His voice and His word and His promise that it is happening right now. All of the warfare prayers, all of the faith, all of the sacrifice has culminated in this time according to the will of God to show now His glory through the lighthouse. Would you rejoice one more time? And would you believe that it is now in Jesus' name? There is no waiting anymore in Jesus' name. Praise God. Pray also for grace that was baptized when Brother Anderson was here along with her husband, Johnny. We will be having a Bible study tomorrow right here in the afternoon uh, with both of them. And pray for me that God will give me the words to speak wisdom with the words from heaven. Amen. These are two precious people. Praise God. Johnny was here last Sunday. And we thank God for what he is doing in their lives. Praise God. Don't forget also uh, Edith. Amen. Edith was also baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. And Sister Chica, along with others, uh, reaching out for her. Would you pray right now that God would just lead us and that we would recognize as God begins to prompt us to reach out? Not in a mechanical way, but as the Lord leads, leads His body, His body, His body. You're His body. As the head begins to prompt the body to, to move, to act, that we would recognize it. Would you do that right now? Would you just pray? Would you believe you are his body? And say, Father, let me have, Lord, the, the sensitivity, the yieldedness, God, as part of your body to begin to act, O oh Lord, as you, O oh God, prompt us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
How many believe God will prompt you this week and in many weeks to come to begin to act in Jesus' name as God perhaps repeats himself in the mouth of two or three witnesses two or three times as he confirmed his word and is established. Amen. What a wonderful time being in Saddleback. And I want to give time to testify. If you would, uh, anybody got a testimony? We thank God for those of you that, are, that have gone to the outreach. And this is a team effort. Amen. And it was so good to be out there reaching out, witnessing to people, asking. Amen. Witnessing, having fun. Handing out water, amen, handing out water and soda. And this is Mo after God filled her with the Holy Ghost. Can you notice the difference in her countenance in Jesus' name? And many others that have come, signed up, we have their names. We have their phone numbers in Jesus' name. We have prayed for many, amen. Some have questions, praise God. And a lot of them, we believe, are going to come and we're inviting them to this Friday's Connect Group. <clears throat> so keep in prayer this Friday, 7 p.m., our Connect Group, that God would just continue to draw them in Jesus' name. Anybody got a testimony? Uh, I want to open it up to people that would give God thanks. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for being able to go to Tuesday's outreach at Saddleback. I wasn't sure what to expect because I've never been in outreach in that sort of situation. But it was it was lovely, period. It was so amazing to see everyone working together and people coming because they actually wanted to ask questions and feel the love of God. You could just tell. And it goes along. I appreciated going with a bunch of people because um, it goes along with what Sister Lachika has been saying for us to individually use the gifts that God gives us, but also rely on other our other people on our team for their strengths too, if it's not one of yours. So it was just a tremendous blessing to be a part of and to see people's lives changed immediately. So I thank you, Sister Lachika, for pointing that out before we went. And it just, it made so much sense, and it all came together. Praise God. Amen. Thank the Lord. Anybody else want to testify what the Lord's been doing? In Jesus' name. Actually, I'm just so excited what God is doing in this church. Praise God. And, you know, when Brother Braden was here, and... The Magdalenas last week, and it's amazing what God is doing in this church. And it's not only excites me, it's, I mean, I, I've been jazzed for the whole week, Praise what's God. been happening. So I just thank God and, and give him the glory for what he is doing in, in, in this church and this ministry. Yes, yes, let's thank the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We give God glory through our words. An expression, Jesus' name. It was my first time, <laughs> the campus ministry. It's different, Brother Paul, huh? Um, I mean, I've been to Irvine Spectrum once. Haven't come back yet there. <laughs> but the first time in, um, in that campus ministry, and it's true, the ground is fertile. It is easy. I want to say it is easy. And for me, it was a learning experience um, because it was kind of new, right? But then it's encouraging to know that it's not different when you follow the leading of the Spirit, the same way we do at the church, Brother John. It's just, I was able to flow the same way. Yes. You know, of course there was some distractions because it was a campus, right? I just got to, had to just stay focused. I just had to stay focused on that and try to um, you know, get that out of my mind and, you know, stay focused on the flow of the Holy Ghost. But the same way when I ministered to the students, and there were diverse students, and I want to encourage you because God does want to use us to do more than, hey, can I invite you to church? There were many seeds that the Lord was able to sow, okay? And it's, I want to say it's not hard 
of course, the more you do it, you'll get the flow. You'll, you'll learn it. You'll learn it. Um, and it was interesting because I, I don't know what to expect either, but when there's an open door, respond. And, and I thank God that I'm able to discern hunger. And there, remember I taught about those three things, either the gift, of discerning of spirits you can there are those that can sense that I can usually God moves on me on that and I know with my son as well brother Dylan but if not if that's not obvious then body language look at their face you know you I think you can tell interest right hunger or inquiring or oh you know or they're you know they're at the booth okay they're right there okay they're stopping they're not just thirsty and want a free drink right they're right there you could tell you could tell you know, and then if all else fails, you can also ask questions. And it's always good. What works for me, and you could try other questions. What works for me is asking, hey, I want to invite you uh, to this church, but have you ever been to a Pentecostal church? I know that's a yes or no question, but then their yes answer and their no answer will start a conversation. So if they say no, my, you've got to experience it. It's so powerful. I got to talk about the day of Pentecost. I got to talk about speaking in tongues. I got to talk about the Peter preaching, you know, the Acts 238 message, you know, and then I was even able to rightly divide the word of God with one that asked about, you know, what is the difference between Pentecost, you know? And God will give you wisdom because there are some questions, Brother John. <laughs> like when I said about the Holy Spirit, this this young gal said, oh, is that the same as, you know, the, like like the, the Holy Ghost of the Trinity? You know, and so I thought about you, Brother John. I didn't go through the, the doctrinal lesson. I didn't do this that because that would, would take a long time, you know. But all I said was, um, in the name of Jesus, I just said, you know, that is the Spirit of God. And you want to have it. You want to have that Spirit. It's powerful. You know, so God will give you wisdom. It's not time for a three-hour Bible study. Okay, but you give them enough because you can also push them away if you give them the wrong answer that they feel, oh, man, she just rejected me. No, we want them to feel welcome, you know, and then you just keep that conversation. So there are many seeds that were sown. I thank God for that, but I want to encourage you, you know, we could do this. And those that are strong in it, there are those of you, Sister Terry, Brother Paul, you're frontliners. You get the crowd coming. And then there's of those of you that will have the gift to discern, like, oh, okay, that girl's hungry. That guy's hungry. Get out of your seat. And you minister to them individually. Individually. You know, we'll, we'll learn this together. But in Jesus' name, just thank God for the opportunity. Like Pastor said, yes, the harvest is here. The harvest is here in Jesus' name. God, God is who greater things. I expect greater harvest even before the end of this year. Will you believe with me? Even before the end of this year, it will be even greater. I believe that in Jesus' name. You know, one of the things that uh, I have learned throughout the time is that uh, basically, you know, like she says, you ask the questions that would lead to an open door. Okay, and... Uh, uh, one of the things that I ask a lot is after you do all the introduction and give them water and stuff like that, and you go, let me ask you a question. When you, go to ch when you go to a church, what do you expect to gain? What are you looking for in a church? A lot of the times they do not have the right answer. And, you know, and then you, my suggestion will be like, hey, hey, what about your salvation? Shouldn't church show you? how to get saved, or about your salvation. And then you could open the gate from right there. That's the open door right there to walk right in, to witness in what you went through, what you experienced, what we are taught, you know, about our salvation. And you know what? When you make it that way, it's about them. It's about them being saved. It's not about shaking pastor's hands or anything like that. It's about what they're interested in. The main reason why they're there at church when they are at church. So, you know, we're, we're learning slowly, but we are getting wiser on the right questions to ask. And you know what? This is how you learn. I'd like for you guys to come out there and experience it. It is awesome. And we are going to be, God's going to give us more territory. UCI is next. 
IVC is next, and, you know, there's going to be a lot more. In Jesus' name. I just want to say that um, it was fantastic. It was awesome. And uh, what was really awesome today was um, Johnny, he came back and he at, he requested prayer because he was there, um, he, he, he was there um, Tuesday, yesterday or last week. Johnny is the one with the curly hair and had the glasses. He's a different guy. So um, he came back, and he he uh, he had a test today, and he came and he requested prayer for God to help him with his test. So I go, man, that's awesome. So we we just leaped out of our chairs and we went over there and we prayed for him. And you know, I just want to thank God that He gives us the privilege and the opportunity, you know, um, to share the gospel. We had we shared the gospel. We invited people, and I heard a couple of te uh, testimony. You know, and Stephanie came back, and it, it was just an aw awesome. I mean, I'm glad that we did it. You know, it, may, it just gave me joy because you know we were in a different location. You know, different. It was different. You know, but you were right. You know, a lot of people were coming, and they, you, we never know. I mean, things can go chaos in their home, but they go to school. You know, you don't know what's going on. But we were there because. We pray for a few people today, and it, it was just awesome. And I, I'm glad that I was a part of it. Does anybody else have a testimony that they want to share? All right. So, so, so the people can hear, sister. Don't worry. Um, my cousin Cindy, that everyone prayed for back east, um, she's out of the hospital and in a rehab center, so. Um, I guess um, her lungs okay, but she's still on oxygen. And turns out she didn't have COVID, but um, she's recovering from alcohol al alcoholism. So just keep her in prayer. Thank you. Church, is it okay if we pray for Cindy real quick? Is that okay, Pastor? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now, God, for Cindy, O Lord. We release complete deliverance, O Lord, of the spirit of alcoholism. In the name of Jesus, we bind whatever hindrance is in the way, and we loose your will to be done. We loose your love. In the name of Jesus Christ, we believe it, O Lord. We speak it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. As, as Brother Paul and Sister Lachika were um, kind of mini teaching on on uh, outreach the lord put a a thought into my mind and i asked pastor if it was okay to share this and i felt the lord impress upon me a thought and it was outreach is all about understanding what your seed is and if you understand the seed is the word of god you will transform your outreach and what is meant by that i remember i was i was talking to um the the coordinator of School of Tyrannus, uh, when me and Dana were in Maryland, he's an awesome guy. He's seen a bunch of people get the Holy Ghost. He's traveled. He's seen people baptized on campuses, and he's just an awesome guy. And I was telling him, I said, um, brother, I want to get out of the habit of just inviting people to church and not having a, a spiritual move. Um, and I was asking him, because sometimes I feel I, I, all I do is just give them a church card, and I feel like God could have done more. But I'm, I don't understand why it didn't happen. And he spoke something to me that was very profound. And I've sat down and talked with Pastor and Sister Lachik about this. They, they agree with it. And he said something that was so powerful. He said, you have to realize that the seed is not the church card, but the seed is the word of God. Church, the church cards are not a replacement to tell them about the gospel. But what the church cards do is they provide a way to tell them about the gospel. But I believe the Lord has given this church a revelation of what seedless outreach is and what fruitful outreach is. 
Because if you want to have fruitful outreach, you have to sow the seed. You have to speak the seed. And so outreach is about understanding what is your seed. And so if we understand the word of God is the seed. So what must we speak? We speak the word of God. Now, how do I speak the word of God? How do I get into that whole topic? Well, Sister Lachika and Brother Paul um, already kind of answered those questions. Brother Paul, he would, I remember he used this one today, and it was, um, what was the question? Was it what, when you're trying to find a church, what, what are you looking for? And, and this guy, his name's, um, I think his name's Sean, and he said, well, when I'm looking for the church, I'm not sure. I've, I haven't been in church no, for a while. I used to go when I was little. And we didn't even ask him to say any of that. He was just pouring out. And when you get them to speak, because sometimes we get so, we get so nervous, I have to say this, I have to say that. When in reality, we can open a door for them to talk. And we could minister. And so outreach is not so much, oh, man, what do I say? How do I say that? Am I supposed to say this? How am I going to invite them to church? I, I remember we, we did this one also, me and Brother Paul. Yes, this guy. How do, I know. Actually, it was me and Sister Terry. He said, how do you feel about God? And the guy sat, and he, he kind of he chewed on it, and he kind of thought about it. He goes, hmm, how do I feel about God? And he said, well, I mean, I don't have anything against him. I mean, I don't really go to church, but I don't, I'm not opposed to him. And here's the powerful thing about that question. It's not a one-answer response. It's not a yes or no question. And the, what's so powerful is that gets them to talk. And when they start talking, because it doesn't matter if they're an atheist or they're a believer. They will have a response to that question. Because if you ask somebody how they feel about God, I'm pretty sure every single person in this world has a feeling about God. It's just we don't know what that feeling is. And so when you get them to talk, instances like that, because we, we didn't just focus on invit inviting them, and I'm not saying that's wrong. We should do that. It's an avenue to talk to them. We should use what God has given us. The disciples used the tools that were available to them. But in these situations, what happened because we asked him, how do you feel about God? What is your background in church? Because we asked him that, he felt so at home and he felt so loved that he, he was saying, you know, I don't really have family down here. I, I'm the only one here. And he said, and I, I told him, and we all told him actually, well, maybe we'll be your church family. And you want to know what happened? Before that discussion end, he said, I am going to try to make it to Friday's Connect Group and Sunday service. And if we want to see things like that, we have to sow the seed. Because how does the fruit even come to be in the first place? It comes by a seed. And if we sow the seed, and the powerful thing about questions like these, like, have you ever been to a Pentecostal church? Even if they do say yes or no, you can expound what a Pentecostal church is. And you can even ask them questions. Have you ever heard of the gospel? Because some people, believe it or not, they don't even know what the, they've never even read a Bible before. There's some people that the, the concept of Christianity is such a foreign thing to them. Especially in the college campuses, where not all of them are even from North America. And we saw that because our brother Marshall was filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost and baptized. And he was from China. And God drew him here. And so this is all to encourage when you begin to focus on what the seed is. Seed is the word of God. And when you speak the word of God, when you speak the rhema, then you will see fruit. Then you will see awesome things happen. Just wanted to add on to that because we are to be witnesses. Amen. We can use both the spirit and truth. And I want to say that we talked about the seed, it's very, which is very important. God is growing us. But also the spirit, the ministry. We, we saw how um, she was filled with the Holy Ghost. Sister Mona, I want to tell you, whenever they ask for prayer and we pray for them, even if it's about a test, anatomy and all that stuff, I promise you, they feel 
the Spirit of God. Why? Because we have the Spirit. They, they will feel it. And what, the re, why am I saying that? Is because we got to be sensitive. After we pray for them, that's when I ask Mo, would you like to receive to feel the Spirit of God? Because I know she was sensing it. And even the young guy we prayed for the test, I know he could feel it. So I want to let you know that is also an avenue for them to receive the Spirit. Every time you pray for them, they will feel the Spirit of God. And then also, you could also ministry, minister in, if you have the gift of any other gifts moving in you, praying for healing, for the word of knowledge, any other gift. God can use you. Just be sensitive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you thank the Lord right now in Jesus' name for what he has done at Saddleback? Praise God. Amen. Keep in prayer, uh, Sister Leanne, Brother Jay's daughter, because she goes over there. And Dylan is in contact with her. We're praying for an extension there, a part of a club or a Christian club, Jesus. So there's an open door there. Amen. And it's exciting. You know, if, if whenever you're in doubt on how to witness to people, just ask yourself, what would a loving God do in this situation right now? And when you have that mindset, God will just give you words to speak. And it will just flow through you in Jesus' name. P pray for the college and career that's Friday. B Brother Nick, you're invited, of course, you, Jess. And, and pray for those that are coming, planning to come. Thank thankful for all of you that are picking them up, giving them a ride. This is a team effort. Amen? All of us are a part of this miracle. How many believe that? Because we are one body. We are the body of Christ. He's flowing through us. We're all a part of it, and we all play different roles. Amen. So I am definitely, definitely very thankful for that. Uh, Nick is going to get baptized. If you would get ready in Jesus' name tonight, and be, be apprised what's happening in Jesus' name, that uh, in October 7th, October 7th, which is the first Friday of October, San Clemente Connect Group will be hosting a bonfire. So instead of Brother Paul's house, the Connect Group will be over at uh, the bonfire area in, what is that beach? Doheny? Doheny Beach. That's where we're going to be, same time. Uh, and we're going to have a lesson there. We're going to eat. And, of course, everybody's welcome. So that's October 7th. At 7 p.m., we're trying to get take advantage of the uh, the warm weather as it before it becomes really cold. Of course, California cold. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, and then we're going to update you what's happening in October. Would you believe it? In just a few more days, it will be October already. And but it's exciting to see what God's doing. Would you pray for college campuses right now in Jesus' name? Would you just do that? Not only here, but I believe it will open also for the Buena Park Church. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for the door you have opened, God. We thank you, Lord, for giving us instructions and words to speak and to explore what you have opened, Father. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, as we are all part of this endeavor, O oh God. I pray in Jesus' name that you would, Father, grant us the words, the wisdom, the desire, the love to reach for somebody in Jesus' name. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to get any of these flyers, these are conversational pieces. These are all outside in the lobby area. Grab some of these. Amen. And be a witness to somebody. Praise God. Praise God. When, when Nick comes, we're going to baptize him. Brother Paul, will you baptize him in Jesus' name? He already has the Holy Ghost. And we thank God for this another soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God.